fruit. The, the babies are just a few of the animal plants that have been an important source of nutrition for people living in the tropics. Many are rich in vitamins and minerals. Oh, papyrus. While others are well adapted to papaya. Actually, the Egyptians used papyrus to make sandals. Really? Some, like the water well, at least they used to. Areas. Bananas. Look, banana. 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 Yeah. One day, many of these lush plants will One day, many of these lesser known tropical plants may be as important as the bananas growing on both sides of the boat. More than 28 million tons of bananas are eaten annually, making it the most popular oh, fruit in the world. Cacao. That's why the, the, we have the chocolate with me. Account for nearly two thirds of our global oh, food consumption. Nice. Learning how to increase yields of these staples is an important goal of research around the world. Fertilizer and pesticides. Another innovation at work is our integrated pest management for greenhouses with beneficial insects that prey on harmful pests like aphids and flies. We are significantly reducing our reliance on conventional pesticides. We're growing yeah. these crops using our nutrient film system. This technique precisely controls and recycles water and nutrients. With it, we can produce over 27,000 heads of lettuce a year in this one small area. Wow. Is that better melon? Better melon. Oh yeah, better melon. We have that in our backyard. Another pepper. That's a lot. Some of our best ideas. Oh, tomatoes. Lettuce. Pepper. Oh, lettuce. Like Another tomatoes. By growing these ground plants, oh my God. That's we so can good. increase yields and better control diseases. That's these my crops view, taste but our as tomatoes, good as they, they go up. In fact, get a lot we serve more than 15 tons of produce from our greenhouses and restaurants here oh, in the land every oh, year. Oh, look at that cucumbers. They're so good. Look like a zucchini. <laughs> oh, it's just amazing how they grow these plants without glasses. Mm -hmm. It's just amazing how they grow all these vegetables in here inside. Parsley, all these. Uh... The future of agriculture may include innovative ideas like this vertical growing system. What the Plants heck is that? Plants grow in this way use a fraction of the space required by it's traditional growing. Yeah, so that gosh. saves water and increases production. The aquaponics system on your left it's combines honey. hydroponics with aquaculture. The fish provide a natural source of fertilizer for the plants, oh and the plants help keep the water clean for the fish. It's another great way to produce more while using less. In our lab, Epcot scientists are working with the U.S. Department of Agriculture on a number of innovative projects. The goal of these efforts yeah. is to produce higher yielding and better quality plants.